Mel was already an established figure in the history of technology when he came to campus in 1972 to take the post as Callaway Professor of the History of Technology. He had founded the Society for the History of Technology, an international organization, and was the founding editor of the international journal called Technology and Culture. And he brought both of those institutions with him to Georgia Tech. Mel Kranzberg really had a sense that the history of technology uh, needs to be a discipline of history that is connected to a conversation that's taking place now in our time about technology and society. And I think today, the need is even greater for us to think about these technological developments, how they impact us, both negatively and positively, and have the potential to do both. Mel's emphasis on the history of technology made it possible for students to have a better appreciation of America's role in the world and the place of technology and technological innovation in that place, in that process. So the graduate program goes to the heart of this by putting out there younger people with new innovative ideas, with enthusiasm, with intellectual ideas that perhaps haven't been thought about before. It opened up the professional network to the Society of the History of Technology, um, and it, it gave us confidence, uh, it gave the graduate students confidence to apply to conferences and know that we would be able to, to be there and share our work. The Kreisberg Professorship supports these initiatives by encouraging graduate students to work in the field of the history of technology and associated um, aspects of, uh, of, of scholarship. And in that way, they become members of this broader community of historians of technology, which is exactly what Mel Kreisberg would have wanted. It takes a community to support a university, and Georgia Tech is known worldwide as a premier research institute. But you need more than that. You need the faculty, the alumni, the staff, and most of all, the philanthropists who help fund the chairs and make donations to make the schools great so that we can develop the next leaders for the United States and the world. The philanthropy of John Stern and Reed Catlett has made such a huge difference in my uh, graduate education. It opened up doors uh, to do research, uh, to visit archives uh, all over the country. Reed has always been a very kind, generous person. Um, she had a very quick wit, a warm smile. Everybody found her engaging, but the side, the side of her that's the philanthropy side, um, she doesn't brag about it. People really don't know about it. Reed and, and John are particularly interested in creating spaces of interaction. And that continues the Kranzberg legacy. This is what Mel was about. And Reed has taken that to heart and taken that very personally. So this is the Mel, named after Professor Melvin Kranzberg. Uh, I, this was my second home, essentially. Every class was here uh, from my first day as uh, beginning the graduate program to doing my defense in the same room. And it is a wonderfully comforting place and uh, a great place to, to share ideas and be part of the intellectual community and know that, that we're really in uh, a space that honors a founder of the field here at Georgia Tech. So John and Reed's philanthropy go to support, in part, Naval ROTC scholarships. And we received a note from Ensign Anya Mangan, who is currently in flight school in Corpus Christi, Texas. And she sent a note just wanting to share her appreciation to Reed and John. And I will read a bit of it. It says, I am currently in flight school, working on getting my wings of gold and becoming a full-fledged naval aviator flying helicopters. I was a recipient of the George Robert Henderson Senior Scholarship during my last year at Georgia Tech. I was working a job on campus as well as being a member of Naval ROTC, and the scholarship was an absolute help to me finishing my degree in civil engineering. I thank Reed, Catlett, and John Stern for supporting students like myself for helping me in my journey through the best college in the world. I may be far from Georgia Tech, 
but I carry it with me wherever I go. I think a lot of the support which they've given is of course to Georgia Tech, but it has also been assisted by the warm relationship which we have had with both of them. And I can really not thank them enough for what they've done for me, for H. Soch, and for Georgia Tech, and our graduate community. Reed and John, just want to thank you so much for donating your time and effort and monies to making Ivan Allen a wonderful college at Georgia Tech and also making Georgia Tech the world premier university that it is. I will tell you that your philanthropy, your generosity into allowing this one piece, small piece of that, but yes, yet an important one for Georgia Tech, is much appreciated. Well, I'm just so pleased uh, that they're being honored in this way. I think that they're quiet supporters of very worthwhile endeavors, what I consider to be very worthwhile endeavors. And uh, I'm just so happy that they're being recognized in this way. I want to send congratulations for this honor and a big thanks for the support that you gave the graduate program. Reed and John, thank you for all you do to support the Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts. Congratulations on your Dean's Appreciation Award. Mm -hmm.